In this video, we provide the solution to question number six for practice exam number three for Math 1220, in which case we have to set up the integral to find the area under the parametric curve x equals one plus e to the two t and y equals e to the t from the region x equals one to x equals two. We set up this integral, but we do not have to evaluate it. So some things to note here that the area under the curve in general will follow the formula a to b of y dx in that situation. And so as we adapt this for the parametric form here, uh, we want to plug in y with respect to t. We're going to take the derivative of x there. Uh, so doing so, we're going to get for y, we get e to the t. Then we have to take the derivative of x with respect to t. When you take the derivative of a constant, that's going to disappear. So you're going to get 2e to the 2t dt. So far, so good. Uh, now we need to evaluate it with respect to the diff. Now, since our differential became dt, you do need that for the full credit on this integral here, of course. We need to change the bounds. We're not integrating from x equals 1 to 2. We have to integrate t. Uh, so some things to know here. I'm going to bring that 2 out in front. Um, you have e to the t times e to the t. You can actually add the powers together, and so this becomes e to the 3t dt. Uh, we do need to evaluate the, the bounds here. So as x equals 1, we plug in 1 for x right here. So we have 1 is equal to 1 plus e to the 2t, uh, for which then you get 0 equals e to the 2t there. Um, can an exponential ever equal 0? Uh, not precisely, but if you take the limit, you can. So the thing is, this happens as t approaches negative infinity, you can get zero. So that's going to give our lower bound right there. So it turns out this is actually an improper integral. We didn't see that one coming. Ah. Um, and then we also want to do x equals 2. So if you plug in 2 for that one right there, 2 equals 1 plus e to the 2t. Subtract 1 from both sides, you get 1 equals e to the 2t. Taking the natural log, you're going to get 0 equals 2t. Dividing by 2, you'll get 2 equals 0. And that then gives you the upper bound, like so. And so then the integral to measure the area will be 2 times the integral from negative infinity to 0 of e to the 3t dt.